Hey what's up guys, AccountVision here. If you're new to this channel, welcome. I basically do accounting videos for those who are new to accounting or those who have accounting exams coming up. Anyways, I'm going to give you valuable information to make learning accounting simple and exam techniques for you guys to score higher marks. If this is something you're interested in, then start now by subscribing. But anyways, in this video, we're going to go over different types of errors in the trial balance. The goals of this video is to know if there are errors, understand the types of errors and what you need to solve the errors. So how do you know if there are errors? Well, the total debits and credits of a trial balance does not equal. So for example, here's a mini trial balance you'll see here. Here's uh, they, It has three columns, accounts, debits and credits. And it has a total of £1,000 and £500. You can see that both debits and credits does not equal. And let's say the correct total is £1,000. This figure here is not correct because it's £500 less which is the missing figure which should have been on the credit side and the reason why it's not there is due to one of the six errors so one of them could be error of omission, error of original entry also known as transposition error, reversal error, compensating error, commission error and principal error but let's start off with error of omission. Error of omission, just to keep things simple, is basically when you forget to post an entry to an account. So for example, a payment of a thousand pounds for electricity has been omitted from the books. The keyword here is the word omitted. As I said, it basically means you forgetting to post an amount. In this case, it's a thousand pounds to an account, which is the electricity. Next, we got error of original entry. In, just to keep things simple, it's basically an opposite. So what I mean by that is, for example, a cash payment of £69 for rent was posted as £96 instead. So in this case, the £96 is incorrect and it should have been £69. That's what it should have been. Next, we've got a reversal error. It basically, just to keep things simple, a double entry that has been reversed. So for example, a payment of £500 for electricity was debited to a bank account and credited to an electricity account. So let's just use a dead click acronym here. Basically, electricity is an expense and it should be on the debit side. While the bank is also an asset, it should be on the credit side in this case because we're spending, we're using the money to spend it on the expenses. So the money that's going away is re is reducing an asset. So that's why it's on the credit side. So here in this case, what they've done is they've debited bank and credited electricity, which is not correct. And it should have been debit electricity and credit bank. Next, we got compensating error. Just keeping simple, look for keywords which says undercast or overcast. So here are some examples. Example one says sales account was overcasted by £250. In this case, the word overcast means too much. It's basically saying that the sales account has an extra £250, which should not be in that account. So in order to get rid of that, we need to reduce the sales account by £250 to get it to the right figure. And likewise, for example two, trade payables account was undercast by £500. The word undercast means too little, which means that it, the trade payables account is £500 less and in order to correct that we need to increase the trade payables account by £500. Next we got commission error. To keep things simple it's basically the same nature and same category. So for example a credit sale of £50 have been debited to the account of J Adams which is a trade receivables instead of a account of Mr Smith again trade receivables. So they had the right idea in terms of double entry, they debited trade receivables which is an asset and credited sales which is an income. But they chose the wrong trade receivables which is Jay Adams instead of the correct one which is Mr Smith. The reason why it's the same category is because both Jay Adams and Mr Smith are trade receivables which is an asset. That's why it's, it's a commission error. And finally, principal error, to keep things simple, is basically the same nature and different category. So for example, a payment of £500 for vehicles expense was posted to vehicles asset account. So they had a right idea for double entry, they credited bank and debited to account, but they chose the wrong account which is vehicles instead of a vehicles expense account. So the reason why it's a different category is because vehicles and vehicles expenses are different. In this case, vehicles is an asset and vehicles expenses is an expense. That's why it's principal error. 
and you may ask yourself is there like a way to solve the errors well there is it's called the suspense account it is basically a temporary account that is used to resolve the errors in a trial balance i'll be going over that in the next video so make sure you subscribe so you won't miss it and just to summarize there are six errors and those six errors aren't shown in the trial balance and those errors are solved using a suspense account and that is it if you found this video useful give a like subscribe and comment down below if you have any questions and don't forget to check out my other videos i have on the playlist for you guys to have a look at and thank you for watching this video